Hello and welcome to another edition of Spurverts. I'm Reese. I'm here with Emma as usual. Hello. We do not know where Craig is. Check his Snapchat. He's probably driving somewhere endlessly, talking about trainers or following Mika Richards around Dubai. <laughs> Unwanted. So this week we are going to be talking about the following. First up, Wanyama. Huge signing for us. Uh, then the Spurs, aka England, Euro campaign. Then specifically Eric Dyer and how good he's been. And then Harry Kane and you know, not as good, arguably. Uh, and then the other internationals playing, Spurs players playing internationally at the moment in Europe and the Copa America. And then finally, we'll be talking about the new training kit that's been announced and what that might mean for previous kit rumours. First up, though, Wanyama. I think that's a big, good signing for us, centre mid. What do you think, Emma? Oh, it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. We missed out on him last summer and I was really disappointed. This was before we discovered, obviously, that Eric Dyer has just turned into God in that position. And before Moussa Dembele became a proper a absolutely. star Absolutely. So when we missed out on him last summer, hugely disappointed. Brilliant to have him now. We needed cover in that position because, yeah. you know, Dembele is obviously missing the first four games of next season due to that stupid suspension. Uh, yeah. And God forbid, touch wood, if anything Thank happened you. to uh, to Dyer at the Euros, we would really need extra cover there so yeah. I think it's going to be brilliant when Yama and Daya like if you really don't need to go really sort of like hardcore defensive and angry absolute beasts amazing yeah uh, <laughs> plus I think we did kind of prove towards the tail end of last season that like uh, beyond the starting 11 we yeah, kind of maybe lack a bit of squad depth. It'd be yeah. nice to have three players that we think are all Premier League proven quality quality Absolutely. centre mids that we can just rotate and then also we proved it with Trippier and with Davies. The more competition, the better for how much better people get. Yeah, I'm not saying Dyer and Dembella can get much better, mm -hmm. but it'll be nice to have them constantly under pressure. Yeah, I mean, the other thing we've got to think about as well is the fact that with our Champions League games, we've actually got some really brutal yeah. Premier League games coming up just after some of our Champions League group games. So we need really good cover for those Premier League Absolutely. games. Because obviously we're going to go first choice in the Champions League because that would be daft to spend all this time trying to get there if we don't play our first eleven. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. we need Plus proper we're probably cover. Gonna win it. We're probably going to go win it. So <laughs> I think we'll have Easy. to play this team. Easy. Uh, what do you think this means for Ryan Mason well, and the Bill Bentley? Oh, this is the problem now, isn't it? Um, unfortunately, like when you look at it, you do sort of think if you've got three really quality players in that position, are we basically saying we don't think Mason and Bentaleb? quite cut it at that level anymore. I mean, there's been a lot of rumours about Mason, potential move to Bournemouth. Yeah. I could see that happening. Um, I know there was a lot of interest on Bournemouth's side and I think Spurs were interested in doing a deal. So, it's really sad. I, I hate, you know, especially when they're players that have come through the academy, that, you know, one of our own, but... I like Ryan Mason a lot. He <sighs> was not good last season, though. No. He didn't prove himself. I mean... Every time he actually had to come on and do something, it Yeah, it kind of always badly. backfired. It happened against Arsenal and against oh. Chelsea. Equalisers. <laughs> yes. Uh, Although I think they were just, I don't think they were good substitutions to make anyway, quite negative. Oh. But he didn't do a good job, he didn't really do a good job at the end of the season where no. we completely, you know, faded off. Yeah, and obviously where we, in previous years, we'd be able to say, well, we'll just play him in the Cups, we'll play him in the Europa. Obviously, that's not the option anymore. Yes. So. But if we're talking about this to do with Ryan Mason and Abil Bentaleb, then what does this mean for Tom Carroll? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. Because Tom Carroll good. is too old to <laughs> be <laughs> too old. that too bad. Old. I mean, he's, he's not. Old. I don't think he's a bad really? player, but he's not good enough. He's not. If he was 19 and he was playing like that, mm. and he was that sort of lightweight, fair enough. Yeah. But he's not, is he? He's, he's not. Isn't he 24, up. something like that? Yeah. It's just not. I mean, in his in his defence, he plays. You know, naturally would play slightly further forward. Maybe. So maybe he'll try and turn not, him into. Yeah. A, you know, number 10 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like a cover for Ali or something like that. So, I or don't know. Or maybe they'll just sell all three of them and try and get the 11 point whatever million we spent on Wanyama back. Yeah. Although, let's face it, that's a steal in this game. Absolute steal, I thought. Utter steal. Well done, Levy. Plus, Southampton got Levied again. Exactly. And it'd be <laughs> nice to have Wanyama back under Poch. Poch knows how to work with him. He's proven yeah. in the Premier League. Some people have said they'd have preferred Axel Witzel. Um, in, including Craig. Uh, he's, he's a not good here. player. He's a good <laughs> Witzel is obviously a great player. He's a great player, but we wouldn't have been able to afford his wages. Exactly. It's more and realistic that we get Wanyama. Wanyama's proven in the Premiership. Uh, although they wouldn't have the Belgian connection. I mean, the thing about Witzel, though, Witzel, uh, would he honestly have been happy coming and playing second fiddle to Eric Dyer? Yeah, gotta say no. Not. He's a, yeah, he's an international at the second best team in the world officially. Yes, so I'm thinking not. Maybe in Europe, I don't know. So, although he would be lovely to have, I don't think it's. I think this actually will turn out to be a better signing for us. Yeah, potentially. Fair enough. Okay, now what do you make of the current England Euro campaign that features <laughs> five Spurs five, Lions? Five, our five Lions. Who, not all of which played in the last England oh, match. Oh dear. No, I, a lot of them were rested. Yes, for some unknown reason when well, we needed to win the it. group. 
Brilliant. Yes. Cheers, Roy. Uh, uh, in general, just speaking generally, what do you think? Speaking generally. Mixed bag, right? Oh, yeah, that was exactly the phrase I was going to okay, use, which is a little scary. Uh, yeah, it is a mixed bag. I mean, it's kind of split into two camps, really. You've got the guys who have absolutely smashed it, namely Eric Dyer, Carl Walker. Danny Rose is kind of like consistently good, what yeah. we'd expect from him. And then obviously Kane and Ali, sadly, so far have not really played to their potential. No. Particularly Harry, unfortunately. Although it's not entirely his fault. Not had think. a lot of chances. No. And Deli Ali's not really been played uh, in the position or no. sort of style, system that he's play, used to playing I don't playing know well where you were, Roy, when we were recording Spur Bets at the end of last season. We said, you have to play. If you want England to do well, you have to do what you did against Germany. And you have to play Kane, Ali, Dyer as the spine of your team. Yeah. You still haven't done it and we've been rubbish the whole time. The Listen hell, to us. Why aren't you this watching the videos? Why aren't you subscribed? <laughs> Why aren't you, even if you are subscribed, why aren't you going back and revising the videos? Get on it, Roy. Seriously, God. it's Roy, got to stop now. More like perverts. Uh, <laughs> Harry Kane. Obviously, Harry Kane, as we discussed very briefly there, hasn't quite lived up to his potential no. as seen in the season. Uh, and also, obviously, he's under a lot of pressure because obviously a lot of England fans wanted to see Jamie Vardy start because yes. obviously Vardy had a great season. Yes. Uh, Vardy did start in the last game over yes. Harry Kane. What did you make of that? Well, I thought it was fair enough. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, um, I could understand game. after the Wales game, after the impact it had when Sturridge and Vardy came on and played together, mm -hmm. I sort of thought, OK, fair enough. And to be honest, I think Harry does look a little bit tired. He looks, yeah, he, he has does. played twice as many games as any other forward in that team, you know, over the course of the last two years. So it's totally understandable. And I have no issues with dropping him in the, the main for that game. Unfortunately, didn't really work out. Vardy had no. one amazing chance, didn't put it away. Yes, but he did only have sort of one. Yeah. And, and he'd be used to having a lot more than that. Well, the other thing about Vardy as well, and you know, we were discussing this earlier, is the fact that he's kind of, he's very effective at what he does, but it is only kind of one thing, you know, his pace getting in behind the back line. It didn't suit that match, did it? No. Against Slovakia, where they you, just had 11 behind the ball. You do just feel like Harry does offer a lot more all round to the, to the game and to the, the kind of team going forward than Vardy does. I think purely from a striker point of view. Yeah. But I mean, I, it all comes down to this thing we're saying about systems and about Roy Hodgson not playing our players, or it just as in England players generally, not just the Spurs players, in their correct positions. And I think we're getting constantly found out that you can see that these guys mm. are not performing to their level because they're not being played the way that they should be played. And maybe it's we need to give Poch more credit for getting the most out of them. Maybe we do. That Roy, obviously, isn't capable of. <laughs> well, uh, we don't know yet. You never know. We get Portugal. No, give him time. smash Portugal, then you know, yeah, it's all changes. Maybe <laughs> playing against a team that aren't just defending the whole game yeah. will give them a bit more of a chance. Yeah. Because Spurs often play teams and they put a lot of men behind the ball and we have to kind of break them down. But they will, there'll be a spell in the game at least where they're coming and attacking us a bit. Absolutely. Which just hasn't, to, it's not hasn't really happened. It did a bit against Wales. Didn't really happen against Russia. Didn't really happen against Slovakia. And that's where Deli Ali is so good. Yeah. It's kind of not on the break, but in kind of like him and Eriksen and Lamella are getting it up the pitch, quick passing, getting it up to Kane quickly. Yeah. It, like you look at that goal against Southampton away that Kane scored. It's yeah. a perfect example of us just quickly moving out, getting the ball up there quickly, and then a bit of magic from Harry Kane. Yeah. And it's just not been an opportunity. There's been nowhere near no that much space on the no pitch. No opportunity to do at that. Any point. And I do feel it's making Deli play a little bit within himself. Yeah. Because he's not he's getting that opportunity. He, he has yeah, a bit. Yeah. Like oh, there's been moments in in all three games that he's featured in at some point or another, where I've been like, I've seen him come up to a player and I've been waiting for him to take this player on, you know, do the nutmeg, yeah. go around him, whatever. And it's not happening, he passes it. Yeah. And it's so unlike him, like it's, it, and I feel it is because he feels like he's not having the opportunity. Are the, they feeling to, the pressure as well a little bit to impress at England level, whereas kind of playing for Spurs, it's a little bit like uh, everything's kind of just going great. We were underdogs anyway, yeah. and now we're doing amazingly. England's kind of like, you play in Slovakia, you've got to be winning. You will, and they're yeah. a bit like, oh my God, I have to, I cannot put a foot wrong here. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. Although, having said that, there was no real expectation on England going into this tournament. No, you're right. said, youngest squad, yeah. not much experience. You know, let's not get carried away by the fact that we won a qualifying group that was absolute rubbish. Yes. Um, so, I don't know, like it kind of, in one way, they shouldn't be feeling the pressure. But I suppose the issue is, is that when you've got Wales who have in fairness been smashing it and we'll yeah. come on to uh, Wales in another video you know we've got some Spurs players need to talk about in other teams uh, yes yeah. and also in this video next in this video next I know what you're going to talk about <laughs> <laughs> well I want to say fair play to Wales uh, and my name is Rhys Jones uh, Rhys J <laughs> <laughs>
My name is Rhys James. I'm half Welsh, so I'm officially now fully Welsh. Well, yeah, even though you forgot your own name. I did forget my own name. Um, <laughs> not editing that. No, not editing that. I've got two names, guys. Uh, Rhys William is my middle name. Oh. Very, it's, my name is Wales, Wales, Wales. I'm Welsh. All right. uh, until the quarterfinals, right. and then I'm English again okay. if we are there. But Ben Davies <laughs> has very much impressed me in the back three he's been playing yes. in. Yes. Uh, block off the line. Oh my God, how amazing was that block off the line? It was like... Sensational. It was incredible. Also handballed it twice against England. Shh. One of them was from a Harry Kane header. Yeah, oh, okay. It probably wasn't a penalty, to be fair. Probably wasn't. One I of mean, them definitely wasn't. One of them was completely... One of them was out no of the box. Idea. Yeah. Um, but... but. <laughs> It was frustrating at the time. We needed a goal and we were a bit like... <sighs> well, but, you know, Ben tried to do his best for us. He tried to get his penalty and didn't get given. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. He, yeah, no, Agent, been, Agent Davies. He's been But fantastic. he's been quality. Other yeah. internationals, what do you make of uh, big Kevin Vimmer? <laughs> oh, big a big tournament so far. Big what Kev. has he done? Come off the bench once, is once. that right? Yes, once. And he's he only did. played for about 15 minutes, but it was fine. It was like, solid. It was solid. I think that's the best you could say when yeah. you're coming off and you're playing in a nil-nil draw. The Belgian boys. Now, ah. I... Um, I don't like Jan at left back. I mean, I, I think he's still quality. I just yeah. think, why would you not play them next to each other? But Maybe I didn't see the second Belgium game. Maybe he did. But the thing is, they've always played in those positions for I Belgium. Know. We were the ones who've kind of like an Ajax. They were they so play centre good, backs, though. They were so good centre for this. It's because they don't have a left back, isn't it? Yes. But he keeps, in that first game, Jan kept having to scream at everyone. But actually, I thought it was because he was playing out of position too far up the pitch and having to track back. I don't think he, yeah, exactly. I don't think he likes being scream there. at everyone and he'd go, oh, it's just not natural. Well, do you remember when we played him at left back at Spurs? He didn't like it. He yeah, got he wanted really to leave. about yeah. it. Um, but obviously, I guess, you know, national team, a bit like the problem we've got, you've got to play players where they don't necessarily play normally because you need to make the national thing yeah, work. Yeah, exactly. Well, so it's interesting it to see that, him, yeah, we've now got Jan playing at left back and we've got Ben David playing at centre back. So interesting, though. Know, Bel Belgium learnt the lesson that, you know, we could have told them all yes. season, no Musa. No win. The Dembele philosophy. The Dembele philosophy. When, they, when he didn't play, they drew and it was rubbish. Yeah. And then he played and well, they, they lost when he didn't play. I'm oh, sorry, they, they lost. lost. Yes, you're to right. Italy. And Italy were excellent yes. in that match. Italy, I think. Oh, I'm worried about Italy. Dark horses. Dark horses. Uh, fair enough. And obviously, Lamella uh, has Copa America. got two goals. Because it's not just the Euros. It's got the Copa no. going on, which is like the... South American, American equivalent. Yeah. Um, yes, Eric Lamella has been amazing. Lamella loves. Quality. Loves. Loads of pictures of him with Messi circulating so around the much internet, love for Lamella. celebrating. He's uh, having a great tournament. He scored two goals um, before the tournament. He had scored one in his entire international career, and now he has three. Very good. Um, and he is like the love between him and Messi. They are celebrating exactly. together all the time. And let's face it, if Messi thinks he's good. Yeah, then we is probably giving good. him some tax tips. I think he's good. Uh, <laughs> obviously, also Hugo Lloris, captain of France. Yes. And been playing quite well. Yes, he has. Big save in the first. Massive save in, in the, the first, first game. game. I was like, there you go. That's our Hugo. When yeah. he made that save, I really did. I was like, God, the amount of times we saw him do that. Not he hasn't made any uh, howlers yet, has he? Or, uh, he hasn't made anything. He hasn't done anything. No, he's it? not done anything. I mean, he's not really had the opportunity either no. way because France have been relatively impressive and solid I don't they really like France's back four <gasps> no. but um, beyond that I think they are amazing well they, they amazing. are amazing and real you know, depth as well home favourites as well yeah it's always going to be a big thing for exactly them. and I think the way they've been getting their wins as well like the kind of last minute goals I and mean, we saw what happened with Payet in that first game where yeah. he actually cried at the end of the match yeah he was so like emotional about what had happened I think that's really going to keep building for them through the tournament so yeah absolutely I still say they're the ones to win. Uh, and of course, DeAndre Yedlin also. Ah, yes, also at the Copper, um, which interestingly, it will be the United States against Argentina in the semi-finals. Yeah. So he and uh, Lamella will be facing each other. Um, I think he's, from what I've seen, he had quite a good tournament up until, I think, the Paraguay game. Paraguay was right, I think, uh, when he got sent off, unfortunately, for two yellows. Um, so therefore missed their course final. But hey, he'll be back for the semi. Yeah. I mean, we've all seen the kind of devastating pace that he's got. So, you know, you kind of want that in your team no matter what, really. Yeah, and we've um, got a thousand right backs anyway. Yeah, but I'm quite excited. I, I don't want him to go, though. I, no, I, I, I want to have him back as Spurs. Yeah. It would be interesting, and he seems sort of quite versatile, like he yeah. can play further on the pitch and stuff. Uh, also, finally, we've got to talk about our new training gear that's come out, yeah. which looks to me quite similar to the first rumoured kit we talked about. Since then, there's been a new rumoured kit that was on Spurdon's Instagram. Check that out. The new uh, rumoured kit looked amazing. Is a lovely <laughs> kit. The uh, away kit, the dark navy blue away kit, looks With like a France gold kit. Trim. Lovely oh, stuff. Gorgeous. And the third kit. It's also great, but it's far too similar to the home kit. Apparently, that rumour has been dispelled. That is oh, not the kit, it's not which is a shame. Sports. And if you look at the training kit, it does have a similar line across it, Bono was pointing out earlier, to 
the original horrible room at Kit we talked about on this oh, channel before, God. where you in the comments agreed with us that it wasn't very nice. Don't so let's want hope the line. Yeah, let's hope that's Don't not the reality. The but uh, the training kit does look very nice, though. It does look quite nice. I think it's on sale now already as well. I Maybe we we'll just get the training kit. Everyone just don't yeah, get the, don't get the everyone turn up get the to the matches kit. in the training kit. <laughs> We'll treat all our matches like training matches and win them easily. Uh, thank you very much. This has been uh, Spurbert as usual. Let us know what you think of the Wanyama signing. I know some of you had mixed feelings about that. Uh, particularly people, fans of other clubs seem to have mixed feelings about it. Do you think it's a good signing for Spurs as a Spurs fan? Uh, let us know what you think of the Euro campaign. Uh, should Roy really be playing the England spine as Emma has been pointing out for months and months, yes. Roy? Pay attention. At least two months. Exactly. Eric Dyer, do you think he's had as good a tournament as, say, Jamie Carragher does? With Jamie Carragher saying that he's like Roy Keane and all that sort of stuff. Harry yes. Kane, what is wrong? Is he is he lacking something? Is he tired, or is he just not getting the service he needs? Uh, what do you make of the other internationals? Ben Davies at centre back, Jan Vertonghen at left back, and so forth. Uh, and do you like the new training gear? Uh, let us know in the comments <laughs> below. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Drop us a like, and we'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to today's Tottenham Transfer News with me, Jack Bryden. Now, a lot of crap going around in the newspapers at the moment, so it's nice to be able to bring you something that is slightly credible at least. 